Good morning, everyone. I uh, hope you're having a great day. I'm here by the rose window today because uh, Jesus is uh, also called uh, the Rose of Sharon. Uh, on this Tuesday, on the, the week that was leading up to uh, the cross and the empty grave, uh, we read in Mark that uh, the tree that Jesus had gone to when he was hungry and there was no fruit, the one that he had spoken to, may no one ever eat from you again. Uh, they encountered that tree on Tuesday, and Peter said, Look, look, Rabbi, the tree that you cursed has uh, withered and died. Uh, Jesus did to that tree what would uh, take years and years and years uh, to accomplish uh, through its life cycle, and he used that tree as a reminder to us. Uh, he said, uh, There, standing by that tree, he said that he wants us to be people of faith, that he wants us to be people who put our trust in God. And he said, you can do greater things even than uh, what has happened to this tree when you put your trust in God. In fact, he used another uh, broad analogy, a big example. He said, if you say to this mountain, uh, be cast into the sea and you trust God for that, uh, that that will take place. And he used that as a a reminder to us of what the Lord wants us to do. He wants us to be trusting people. He wants us to be people who are putting our trust in Jesus Christ. We know that we can trust him. We know that uh, we uh, review the facts of what he has done and we realize that he has extended to us his great love by dying on the cross for us and being buried and being raised the third day by his own power so that we can live. We have new life through uh, the Rose of Sharon, the one that uh, gave himself for us. And he calls us to be people who trust, people who will go to the Father in prayer and trust that he will give his answer to us in his time for his glory's sake. So let's keep trusting in him. Let's keep turning to our Lord and keep this in mind. Later on, Paul picked up on that same, uh, same uh, image. As he's uh, talking in uh, 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 13, and what's often regarded as uh, the love chapter, uh, near the introduction, he says, and if I had faith that could move mountains, using that uh, analogy that Jesus had used, if I could have faith that moved mountains, but if I do not have love, I have nothing. So remember that God has shown us his love. He has shown us the greatest example of love. There's no way that we could ever out-love uh, the way that he has loved, that we could have a greater love than our Father's love for us. He has shown us his example. He wants us to be people who trust, but as we do that, to be people who have the great love of the Father at work in us. So I hope you're having a great day. Before I go, though, uh, here is a, a clip for you of uh, what can happen when you add a truckload of explosives to a small hill. I hope you're having a great day. God bless you. Wow. Uh, that is one pile of rock. <laughs>